calcium in your bones is created in a supernova. And so we learn so much about the universe itself when these stars die. Hubble is giving scientists the ultimate learning experience by monitoring one particular star, Eta Carina, back in the Carina Nebula. This is a star that is a bit of a mystery. It appears to have about a hundred times the mass of the sun, and that is the upper limit. The more massive a star is, the hotter it is, and the surface of the star is so hot that it can't even hold on to its own gas. It's constantly blowing off a stream of gas. For over a decade, Hubble creates a series of photos of Eta Carina. The photos show two enormous lobes of superheated gas erupting from the surface. Although Eta Carina is a young star, its huge mass makes it unstable. This star will not survive for long. Eta Carinae is one of the very few stars that we can point at and say, yeah, that one's gonna go. When Eta Carina goes, it will become one of the most devastating supernovae ever recorded. When the light from the explosion reaches us, it will be an extraordinary sight. It will be almost as bright as the full moon. All that light concentrated into a point of light in our sky. It will cast shadows at night. The fireworks will begin when the star runs out of fuel. The gigantic star will destroy itself in just a few seconds. The core of the exploding star will bear the full brunt of the catastrophe. When that happens, it will leave behind one outer space phenomenon that has long captured the imagination of stargazers.